Ever wonder how your heat pump keeps you cozy in the winter and cool in the summer? Or why it suddenly stops working right when you need it most? Well, today we're starting a new series uh, where we go diving deep into the mystery behind heat pumps, what they do, how they work, and what can go wrong. I'm doing this series simply because of all the questions I've had on my previous uh, videos on heat pumps. So stay tuned, watch each episode, and you can learn everything I know about heat pumps and how to save yourself hundreds and even thousands of dollars doing most of the work on heat pumps by yourself. Stay tuned for each episode, subscribe, and you won't miss a thing. This is episode one of our heat pump deep dive series, where we break down every part of a heat pump and help you troubleshoot like a pro. So if you own one, work on them, or just love turning things apart to see how they work, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So what exactly is a heat pump? Well, it's basically just an air conditioner that works in reverse. Instead of burning fuel like a gas furnace, like the one pictured beside the heat pump here, it moves heat from one place to another, cooling your home in the summer and heating it in the winter. Yes, even in freezing weather, there's still some heat in the air. And so the heat pump takes that air, extracts it, and pumps it into your house. That's why you feel warm air coming through your vents. Just think of it like a heat transporter. Instead of creating heat, it just moves it around, which is great, until something breaks, which we'll get into later. And then simply, in the summertime, it does the exact same thing. It pulls cool air from the atmosphere and transports that into your house. So now we will name each component in the heat pump system. We will only go over them briefly in this video but there will be subsequent videos for each component where we go more in depth and tell you more about each one. First up is the compressor. This is the heart of your heat pump. It squeezes the refrigerant or compresses it, raising its temperature so it can transfer the heat. No compressor, no heating or cooling. Number two is the reversing valve. This little device is the brains behind your heat pump's magic trick. It lets your system switch between heating and cooling. If it goes bad, your heat pump can get stuck in one mode, or worse, stop working altogether. Next up are the condenser coils and the evaporator coils. The condenser coils, which are located outside and are pictured on the left, and then the evaporator coils, which are the coils that's inside your home that's located on the picture in the right. These coils are where the heat transfer happens. In heating mode, the outdoor coil absorbs heat and the indoor coil releases it into your home. And then in cool mode, it's just the reverse of that. The expansion valve controls how much refrigerant enters the evaporator coil. If it clogs up, your system will not cool or heat properly. Your thermostat tells the heat pump when to turn on or off. A bad thermostat can cause erratic cycling or prevent the system from running at all. Now that we have listed the common core components of a heat pump, let's talk about what happens when each one of these components start failing? And what are some of the symptoms for each component?
If this helped you understand your heat pump better, let me know in the comments. Also, what's the weirdest issue that you have ever had with your heat pump? Now, next time we're going to talk about thermostats, how they control your system, how they can fail, and why yours might be lying to you. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it.